Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to do August monthly favorites and we are going into beauty things that I have loved for the month of August and I know you've heard this all the time, but oh my god, I can't believe the month is over. I mean, I had this moment of walking into Walmart not that long ago and went, oh my god, back to school stuff and then realized that and really it was the end of August. So yeah, it is back to school time. Um, it is almost the end of summer, we're starting to get into fall stuff, but for the summer I have used some beauty products I have absolutely adored, so I'm going to go in and jump in it and tell you all about them. So the first product I want to talk about is this Essie Nail Polish, and it is in the color per Perennial Chic. So this is a color that I got in my top box this month, and if you saw my unboxing I did um, on the blog, you saw that I featured this nail polish. So. It was uh, probably got it near the middle of the month, but I actually have really liked this. I'm actually wearing it today. It's what's on my on my nails, and I actually really adore it. My nails right now are very short. Um, I get to a point sometimes when they get too long that they all start breaking. Even if I start, if I cut them and maintain them, and then they get brittle and they start over and they get nice and just kind of a cycle. My nails goes through. Um, and so right now they're short and I don't want to have like a bright color on them to attract attention to them So this is perfect. It's kind of a, a nude with a slight peach in it And it actually gives a bit more of a tanned kind of look so I really really enjoy this I've reapplied quite a few times already and this is a winner and I love actually the small bottle because I find it easier to apply on my nails Because I have small nails. So this is a nice win for me this month the next item I've got is this Pure Lease SPF Sunscreen Pure Protect Essential Daily Moisturizer with Broad Spectrum SPF 30 for normal to dry skin. So this is actually a really nice moisturizer. It does say something about having some vitamin E and some soy protein that helps with uh, keep the skin moisturized and smooth. Um, and I actually really, really enjoy this. I find this, I would wear this underneath um, some days that I want very light makeup where I was going to the cottage and I wasn't going to wear men much or if any makeup at all so I was wearing this all the time because usually I wear something with SPF in it whether it's my primer or my foundation or CC cream but the days that I'm not wearing anything I still need some kind of sun protection so I, I use this I find it does moisturize my skin very well um, it doesn't make my makeup look weird or any patches to show through so I have quite enjoyed this especially during the month of, the month of August because of uh, a lot of going outside into the cottage and that sort of thing. So this is another great product for the month of August. The next product I have is a MAC product. And I don't talk a lot about MAC because I don't own a lot of MAC. I actually just own three, four, five, maybe six items from MAC, which is not a lot. Um, but I do really enjoy this. Um, this is the Mineralize Skin Finish in Light Plus, and I love the magnet. Just love that. It is, this is what it looks like. It's just a nice powder that I have used as well as a foundation as well as a, just a powder over top my makeup. And I find it just, it's very finely milled. It feels very nice. Um, it doesn't catch into my dry patches on my skin, which is a godsend. Um, and I use this a lot on days where I wanted no makeup makeup, just like coverage. It can act as a very light uh, coverage foundation, but if I, what I did is I paired it up with this brush. So this is a Real Technique Experts face brush. And it's because it's dense and downy, it's actually really good to apply and it gives more coverage when you apply with this. So I would use this in combination with this and it would actually give me quite a bit of, uh, well quite a bit, enough coverage that I would be fine for the rest, for the, for the whole day with very slight little minimal makeup. So I have quite enjoyed this um, during this month. The next item I have is the Essence Silky Touch Blush. This is in color 50 Sweetheart. And this blush, and you'll see when I open it, it is quite loved. You can see it's quite used and loved. Um, it is so buttery when you put your finger in there. It's so nice. It's a really nice formula. Um, I find it actually goes on very smooth. And you can actually see this color is kind of very light and it just gives enough of a natural kind of look. And that's exactly what I use this blush for. For a day that I want natural makeup or just, just a little bit uh, of color on my cheek so I didn't look one tone dead. This is what I went to th throughout the summer and this is actually probably what I'm going to keep going to throughout the year when I want just natural, maybe on the weekend or nothing very 
very much for the uh, for the office so I have actually absolutely adored this blush and it's so inexpensive that it makes it worth it and you're not afraid to use it up because you can grab another one and a brand new one and you know I think they're worth three dollars a pop or something like that so they're very inexpensive and you can find them in Canada at Shoppers Drug Mart they've got these the next product I have is a Bare Minerals product, and I'm sorry this is very reflective, I hope it's not blinding you, but this is a small version of the Bare Minerals Ready Luminizer, um, and this is in the color The Magic Moment, and just before I show you the color, I just want to show you the size of it compared to a full-size compact. So it's not super small, but it is smaller, so you can see there the difference, but I find you still get quite enough, or quite a bit of product in this, so it's actually quite worth it. And this is what the color looks like. So again, this is the magic moment. And you can see just this beautiful, <laughs> this beautiful kind of illuminator that is a nice champagne bronze pink. And this, the reason why I have loved this, you can see it's not the most huge shine in your face, but it just gives just enough of a luminescence to make it great for work day where I don't want glitter balm on my cheeks and I mean at, I'm in an office all day that actually has no windows so nothing's gonna catch the sunlight on my cheeks so I just want something that's not too much for the office this has been perfect and because it's a nice champagne bronze then it's one of those perfect kind of uh, products to give you kind of a bronze glow and that's all that's what I was about this month this bronze glow so you'll see I have two other products that I'll get into that that was the purpose of them for me this month so this has actually been uh, a favorite for a while but I've been using it a lot um, for the month of August so the next product I have is what I would wear when I want the big shine on my cheeks and to I will be out and I want something to catch the sunlight <laughs> and this is the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick in Pink Quartz. So if you saw my Sephora haul for the event that happened at the beginning of the month, you saw that I hauled this and I have been wearing it all month non-stop between that one and the Bare Mineral one. And this is just, it's just so beautiful and again it's one of those colors that is a champagne-y bronze but you can see the difference between the two how much more of a shine than this one is and oh, it's just beautiful again it's that bronzy pink champagne glow that I was looking for it has been perfect on my cheeks I have absolutely adored this one I will keep wearing it for the rest of the summer as long as I can pull it off with the color of my skin I love these. The next item I have is this Milani Baked Blush. So this one I hauled again in my drugstore haul and I've been reaching for it all month. And this is the Milani Baked Blush in color 03 Berry Amour, which, or Amore, which, anyway, and this, and this I have loved and again it's that bronzy glow on it, but this one instead of being subtle, it's got more it's a little darker and it's got a bit of a sheen to it so I love these because the formula is great they blend perfectly on the skin I use the Real Techniques blush blush it's a bit more fluffy to apply this to my cheek it is actually what I am wearing today um, and it is great and it doesn't it looks a bit like there's glitter in it but it doesn't look like glitter on my cheeks it doesn't look like glitter and I've actually really liked this by itself for the office so if I don't want if I want a little something more, but I don't want a big glitter balm or a sheen, this was great. And it's also been great on days where I even want a bit more bronze look. So I love the formula of these. They're long lasting. I have really enjoyed this. And I think Milani has blushes that can really rival some of the high end brands out there. So win for me on this one. The next item I have is a 24 7 Urban Decay Glide On Eye Pencil. And this one is in Glitter Rock. So this is just a small version. I got in a kit and I actually really like this because it's kind of this has glitter in it so you know we're not going to shy away from the glitter on that um, but it does have glitter and it's kind of like a pinky bronze again I'm all about the pink and bronze this month it's kind of crazy but this is what kind of that little liner gives and I really like to add a pop of color on the bottom of my lashes here and this is actually exactly what this allowed me to do and I'm wearing it today and it's more of a subtle kind of um, liner but I actually really like to add a colored liner on the bottom of my lashes you know I'll go for a mint green or a purple or a, br 
a blue or whatever and I actually really like that pop of color down there so, but I haven't been enjoying this one a lot because it's subtle enough for the office but just a little something for sparkle under the eyes. The next item I have is from Kat Von D and this is a product that I got not too early in the month but I have loved wearing this. This is the Metal Crush eyeshadow from Kat Von D and this one is in the color Thunderstruck. It is just beautiful. It actually is extremely buttery, extremely buttery. And I don't know if you can see, but it's kind of got a dual chrome kind of color effect to it. So you can see that it's got like, I mean, so there's got a bit of a white shine. So like, oh, maybe it's a bit more rose gold. So I have really quite enjoyed this. And today I'm wearing that on my lid and I'm wearing some Coco Bear in the crease, a little bit of Bitten um, on the end and Bitten and Coco Bear from Make em Geek. And I'm also wearing some Peach Smoothie from Make em Geek on the top there. So with combined with this, I've absolutely adored this. I've worn it quite a bit since I've gotten it. Really like that. So this has been the favorite for the month, but I also did have, um, I did also haul another color from this um, line. I haven't used it as much because I've been really into Thunderstruck, but this is Synergy. I just wanted to show it to you guys again if you didn't see it in my in my haul, but look at that. Oh, what swipe. These are great. They, they blend nicely. They are pigmented. They just look beautiful. Um, they're easy to use and easy to create a look with just one of these. Add a couple of colors in the crease and you're done you're good to go and finally the last item is this liquid lipstick from Kat Von D this is in the color Berlin um, it is what I'm wearing on my lips right now and the reason why I kept this for last is because it is an item that I've only started using near the end of the month um, and the reason I have is because when I'm at work I have a lot of meetings I'm in meetings I go in and out sometimes I can have two or three back to back um, in the morning or in the afternoon and I need something that is quick and that will stay on my lips and I don't have to reapply between meetings because I don't always have time to go back to my office, reapply, make sure it's all good. Especially in the morning, you're drinking coffee, you're drinking water and it comes off. At least this stays on my lips and this is why I have enjoyed it. So this is something that has stayed on my lips for three hours or so and that's the only thing I'd say is after about, actually longer than three hours, but after three hours is kind of when I start needing a lip balm. I'm addicted to lip balm so I always need something on my lips. So, but I mean, if I can get three hours of wear, or more and it stays on my lip during my my meetings it's a plus for me so i have really enjoyed this well that's it guys that's all for my favorites so thanks for tuning in uh like this video subscribe it helps a lot and i hope you guys have a great night or day bye the end of August. Start over the story. Ding. It can act as a... as a what?